Darian Beavers didn't make the squad. Darian Beavers got cut. We got some talking to do today. Absolutely some talking to do today. The Giants released their 53-man roster. I'm pulling up the paper from my from my prediction. Obviously, Isaiah Simmons wasn't on the team when I did my prediction. There was also no uh Boogie Basham on it on the on the squad when I made my prediction. But we're just gonna go through some of these. Actually, we're gonna go through all of the players who made the 53 today. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. We have not gone through the waiver wire yet. Some of the names on this list are probably subject to change as well. But man, man, I'm upset a little bit. Not a lot of bit. Maybe a lot of bit. Maybe a lot of maybe I'm upset more than I should be because it's just one name on this list that, that has me scratching my two names on this list that have me scratching my head. And one made the team, one didn't make the team. I already talked about Damian Beavers, but let's go ahead and get into this roster breakdown. So obviously, no questions, nothing changed. The quarterback position, we knew it was going to be Daniel Jones. We knew it was going to be Tyrod Taylor. There might be a few people in the fan base that believed that Tommy DeVito had a chance to make the squad or make the 53. Um, whether they thought with the new emergency quarterback rules didn't count against the 53, which a lot of people were wrong. It does count against the 53. It does not count against the act of 47 or 46 on, on Sunday. But Tommy DeVito, with the money that, that um, Tyrod Taylor was making, really did not have a chance to make this 53 unless we were carrying three, um, um, carrying three quarterbacks, which I didn't think we were going to do. Next, let's talk about the running backs. I was right about the New York Giants keeping four running backs, uh, but I wasn't uh, correct about who that fourth running back was going to be. So Saquon Barkley, Matt Breda, Gary Brightwell, Eric Gray. I kind of had Jay Sean Corbin over Gary Brightwell because I believe that Gary Brightwell had the injury, didn't know when he was coming back, but the New York decided to go ahead and, and wave or release Jay Sean Corbin, and then they kept Gary Brightwell. So that's one of those names that you might see a difference if, uh, depending on what's going on with the waiver wire tomorrow. But right now, we do have four running backs on the 53. Next, let's talk about the wide receivers. Obviously, uh, the news is Wondell Robinson was removed off of the pup list, and he is on the active 53. And the New York Giants did what? They kept six wide receivers. Now, I had us keeping six wide receivers uh, with uh, Wondell Robinson on the pup and I had Cole Beasley making the squad so now Cole Beasley did not make the 53 and Wondell's off the pup so we have those six wide receivers and no arguments there at all uh, Cole Beasley was a guy that I thought was going to be on the team if Wondell Robinson wasn't ready Wondell Robinson is ready and now we're also seeing reports that they might bring Cole Beasley back actually and um, that's something that's very very interesting okay so next we're going to talk about the tight ends now I had us keeping four tight ends we ended up keeping three tight ends and uh, that's going to be Daniel Bellinger Lawrence Cager and uh, Darren Waller now Tommy Sweeney the situation with him possibly could be an underlying heart condition we don't know exactly what's going to happen with him so you know what he is not on the squad right now is this somebody that once he clears we could possibly bring back possibly but right now we're dealing with just the three tight ends Daniel Bellinger Lawrence Cager and Darren Waller and um it, there were some reports that the Giants are looking for that more of a traditional type tight end to add to the tight end room because we have the injuries uh both the Chris Myrick and uh Tommy Sweeney and now we're looking for actually a fourth tight end to add you know to this roster now here's another section where I kind of had some issues with and that was on the offensive line so the starters are who the starters are we knew it was going to be um, Andrew Thomas, Ben Bredesen, John Michael Schmitz. We knew it was going to be Mark Lewinsky. We knew it was going to be Evan Neal. Now, there's a couple surprises on this list. One's not a surprise because it's a necessity. That first name is going to be Matt Pert. Uh, Matt Pert ended up being a swing tackle. I think it's by default. Um, we don't have a better option for a swing tackle. Um, Joshua Zuda, of course. Joshua Zuda was going to make the team. A lot of people thought he might be the starter, but he's looking like he's going to be that swing guard you know that 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 second option if anybody uh, is injured and then the surprise for me the surprise for me in the offensive line was Shane Lemieux how did Shane Lemieux make this squad how how I'll wait yeah you don't have an answer either I know you don't and uh, I'm just sitting here like we released Tyree Phillips and I'm thinking if I'm picking between Tyree Phillips and Shane Lemieux 
give me Tyree Phillips for the versatility. He can play tackle. He can play guard. You know, give, give me Tyree Phillips. But no, we didn't do that. We did keep Marcus McKeithen, which I absolutely thought we should keep him because he shows a lot of promise. And even though he's coming back off of the ACL, he did have some good quality snaps in that third preseason game. Now, we're going to switch it over to the defensive side. Actually, let's just talk about special teams. Ram Gano, Jamie Gillen, Casey Crater. We already knew what it was going to be. That's, you know, special teams was locked in months and months and months ago. We already knew who that was going to be. Let's talk about this linebacker room. Now, like I opened up in the beginning of this video, I'm upset that Darian Beavers didn't make the squad. Like last year, it was Quincy Roche that surprised me. This year is Darian Beavers. Like these are guys that I thought were locks for the linebacker room. Maybe not starters fighting for a starting spot. This being Darian Beavers. Um, and then, you know, you pick up Isaiah Simmons, and then we really don't know how healthy Darian Beavers is. And then even with that being said, I thought that he was still going to make this 53. Um, we decide to waive him. He has to go through waivers. And I'm praying and hoping and praying that Darian Beavers, for my sake as a New York Giants fan, comes back to the New York Giants on a practice squad. Or if we're able to somehow get him on a public, I don't know. But somehow I need Darian Beavers in Big Blue. And I'm not sure and won't be sure to tomorrow if that's going to happen or not. So I'm waiting on that. Another surprise for me was uh, releasing Timon Fox. I thought Timon Fox had a lot of upside, showed some good reps uh, as far as a depth piece for the New York Giants. Now, we did just trade for uh, Boogie Basham from the, from the Buffalo Bills. And, you know, that's fine. He's not here yet. And I understand that. Um, but to me, still, when I'm looking at some of the names on this list, I'm looking at a guy like Cam Brown, who really didn't play that much, dealt with the injury, uh, is injured right now, as far as I know, still making the 53. That's a head scratcher to me. Carter Coughlin, um, been a fan of Carter Coughlin. Um, think he gives you way more than what Cam Brown can give you on the defensive side and also is better on special teams. So I'm not so mad about that. But Cam Brown, man, Cam Brown, you know, could that be Timon Fox? Could that have been Darian Beavers? In my opinion, yes. Yes. I'm not upset with any of the other guys in here. You got Micah McFadden, Aziz Ojolari, Bobby Okereke, of course, Isaiah Simmons, Thibodeau, and Jahad Ward. So, you know, that's... You know, that's perfect. That's fine. Fantastic. I see why they did that. And I mean, that's cool. All right. That's cool. But this Darian Beavers, uh, it's going to take me a little bit to get over that for sure. All right. So next we had the defensive line and I was pretty spot on with the defensive line. I had us keeping six defensive linemen and all six of those guys made the team. Also, I will say this about the linebackers. Before we picked up Isaiah Simmons and before the Boogie Basham, um, uh, before the Boogie Basham trade, I did have in my previous video both Cam Brown and Carter Coughlin making this team by default because there was pretty much nobody else, especially thinking about what they did in the DB room and how many defensive backs or safeties that we have that, that made this 53, which is also pretty shocking to me. But back to the defensive line, DJ Davison did make it. Jordan Riley did make it. Of course, Dexter Lawrence, uh, Nacho uh, Big Cat and also Ashawn Robinson. So the D-line is exactly who I thought it was going to be. All six of those guys made the team. Now, um, I want to talk about these defensive backs. Now, there were some head scratchers here also. Um, you know, first I want to start off with Bobby McCain. Now, Bobby McCain, um, when we first picked him up, I was like, yeah, that's a great addition. Some good veteran help in that backfield. Slowly through training camp, you saw that he started to get buried on the depth chart a little bit. He did play... Um, in a few games and then i believe he has a concussion in, in that from that jets game i believe he had a concussion but he makes a team that's my first head scratcher there so okay so bobby mccain make it made it um next was nick mcleod i haven't seen nick mcleod in a while in a while um i know that uh wink is a big fan of nick mcleod also um jerome henderson a big fan of, of nick mcleod so there you go that's fantastic you always have um some coaches that just like certain guys. So Nick McLeod makes the 53. How healthy is Nick McLeod? I do not know. And again, we have the waiver wires, you know, going in tomorrow. Some of these players that made the team today might not be on the team tomorrow. So that's just something that we got to see, something that we got to look for. You know, I mean, I'm over here with my sleeves all hot. What am I doing? Okay. So Deontay Banks makes the team. 
Um, of course, Trey Hawkins, Adoree Jackson, Darnay Holmes took the pay cut. So, of course, they're going to give him, give him that back. Um, you know, Bobby McCain, like I said, and um, Trey Hawkins. So, that those are your cornerbacks. And then when you get to the safeties, you get to the safeties, you got Jason Pinnock, the rookie, Javarius Owens also made the team. Um, you know, Xavier McKinney and um, uh, I think that was it. Yeah, Xavier McKinney. Dane Belton. Yeah. So the cornerbacks, we kept, I think we kept six and six. I'm sorry. We kept five and five. So we have 10 defensive backs all together. And I think that if you're going to try to make some moves and, and grab some players off the waiver wire, um, one or two names off this list might not be on this list tomorrow. Um, you can also look at the offensive line as well, but um, that's, that's the 53 for the New York giants. Again, the starters are who we thought they were going to be. Um, of course, he had a couple of head scratchers. Again, I'm upset about the Darian Beavers. Um, is that something I'm just going to have to survive and live with? Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a New York Giants fan. I'm just saying for what I thought was going to happen, that's probably going to be the most surprising move for me is uh, Darian Beavers not being, possibly not being a Giant at all this year. Something that I really, really, really didn't expect at all. And here's the thing. If he needs more time to heal coming off of that ACL, you know, more power to him. If it's in guys playing for him to, um, you know, sit on the practice squad and come back, hopefully he can do that as a New York Giant. And I'm, I'm ready whenever um, Darian Beavers is ready, of course. But if he needs, if he gets picked up by another team, salute to you. And um, best of luck. Best of luck if that happens to you. But again, I'm jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm selfish. I want you to be a New York Giant, Darian Beavers, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay, so that's going to be that 53. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And uh, I can't wait to see some of these reactions, man. Also, I cannot wait to see who could possibly make the practice squad. Like, uh, I'm thinking about Baldonado. I'm thinking about Timon Fox, Darian Beavers, of course. I'm thinking about the um, the um, cornerback, um, Ari Warrior. Could he possibly make the, make the practice squad? Um, thinking about some of those offensive linemen like... like um, like Tyree Phillips or, or maybe Harlow possibly making, um, and Tommy DeVito, of course, Tommy DeVito, of course. And man, hopefully Jay Sean Corbin, we'll see what happens, man. There's, um, this is probably going to be one of the most intriguing practice squad rosters too, to, to go along with this 53 man roster. And again, I can't wait. I can't wait for the season to start. Um, I'll be lying if I told you I was, I was absolutely happy all the way with the 53 and that's just being being nitpicky please don't kill me in the comments down below but go ahead and put your comments down there but i, I really i was really hoping that darian beavers was gonna make this team and that's gonna be the last thing I, uh, that'll be the last time i talk about it until we see what happens you know tomorrow if we're able to squeeze this man on the practice squad pause pause but i want to thank you guys for vibing with me please like comment and subscribe and for one giants fan to another this is big dash knows big blue nation are you happy are you happy with the 53 let me know in the comments down below. Let's go.